with the tiger, we're doing a lot of observation. We haven't been very invasive with him because we want to give him a chance to relax. Um, he was very stressed, obviously, with the transport over the past couple days. Um, this morning, he seems to have settled down quite a bit, a lot more calm, and uh, we'll be able to keep an eye on him over the next few days to evaluate to make sure he's doing well. We're hopeful that this tiger will become a permanent resident here at Black Beauty Ranch. Uh, we're waiting on the courts to make that final decision. We're able to provide him a home until then, but we're hoping that he can stay here permanently. Tigers do not make good pets. I can't stress that strongly enough. Uh, we see this over and over again that people think, you know, the cubs are cute and they want to play with them but they grow up, they are wild animals, they do not make good pets, and so we are trying to work, we are an affiliate of the Humane Society of the United States, and HSUS is working to pass legislation on the Texas level, level as well as the federal level to ban private ownership of these dangerous animals. So we wanna make sure that he's comfortable, that he's calm. Um, he will receive excellent veterinary care, he'll receive excellent uh, diet and animal care all, all across the board. Um, we have staff that are specifically trained with big cats, so we feel comfortable that we can provide him uh, the best quality life. When I saw him come out of that horrid transport case, the first thing I said was, this is why we do what we do, because these animals do not deserve to be living their lives in transport cages. They deserve to be in the wild, but if they can't be in the wild, they deserve large, open, spacious, natural habitats like we have at Black Beauty Ranch.